I'm going to go over how you would uh, complete a methodological analysis of a set of papers that you've collected in a literature review. And what I've done here is I've set up a spreadsheet and I'll send you the template and I've put specific columns of information that relate to method. Um, the first one just identifies the paper. In this case I'm using a paper uh, by Freed. It was done in 2008. The next column I'd like to know is the context of what the study was done in. So what what population of students was it or, or people was it collected from? And I've got a, a, a legend here. And so let me take a look at the paper and see what it is. Okay. So in this case, the population was undergraduate students. So I'm putting a four. Um, that's in my legend there. You can see four down there as undergraduate. The sample size, I found out, because I looked in the methods section, um, is 137 students. Okay, And again, if you don't have any of the information, if it's not provided in the paper, you would just put a zero. So that means, not a zero, sorry, you put nothing. Um, that means that um, no information was provided. The subject area was psychology, so I'll put that in. Okay. And the type of study um, I didn't look at, so I'm going to go take a look now and see what this type of study. Was it a theoretical study? So in that case, there probably wouldn't be a population or a sample. Was it a case study? Was it just qualitative descriptions or anecdotal? Um, was it a survey? Uh, was it a performance, a learning performance? Was that looked at or some sort of uh, behavioral change? Okay, so let me just take a look. So I've looked at the method here and the procedures, and that's usually where you can find the, the method here. And it looks like it definitely is a survey method. Um, that's what I found so far. So I'm going to put a three. Now, if it was a survey method and qualitative descriptions, I put two comma three. Okay, so I just put a three there. And reliability and validity. Well, let's take a look at that. And what I do for that is I don't spend the paper a lot of time in the paper looking to find out whether the instruments used were, li were reliable or valid. What I do is I, I go to the paper, I put type in control F, or I go to the find part, and in Adobe you could do that, and search for the word reliability and the words validity and see if it's there. If they're not there, then they haven't been addressed. So let me just take a look. So in this paper, neither reliability nor validity were actually addressed. So what that means is the data collection instruments, the surveys, there was no, there were no reliability statistics reported and no validity statistics. Okay. Um, so let's go. Were individual differences looked at in this paper, um, as in gender differences or or different styles of learning? I don't believe they were. So I'm just going to put a zero. I didn't double check that clearly, but just for the sake of this video. Um, okay, and then now we have to look at whether, what was looked at. Attitudes? Was it learning? Or was it some sort of behavior? And, and I just want to take a look at it just to see, get an overview of what was looked at. So I've just taken a look at the survey methods and procedures, and it looks like individual differences actually were looked at. Individual differences in academic um, ratings. So I just put a one there. Um, attitudes I don't see were looked at, but uh, attitudes towards learning or whether they learned were looked at. So I'm just going to put a one there, and definitely behaviors were looked at what they did. Okay. So, um, and then finally, I just write a little su a summary of this, this, this uh, just to remind myself what the study was about. So in this case, I would say it's laptop use and learning in undergraduate courses. There's a lot more details, but this is just a summary of method, okay? And so you would take each paper and go through the same steps there to develop a methodological summary. And then we can get an idea of, we can summarize these columns and get an idea of what the overall method is like. 